open market model, private investment. Private investment being the driving force in the sector that was internationally competitive. BC Bird switched this economic model over 20 years before it became internationally acceptable as the most sustainable economic approach. This was the economic genius of the man with vision 20 years ahead of his path. This was not, however, the only path of V.C. Bird. Madam President, V.C. Bird understood and made it his fundamental political strategy of empowering his people through first quality education and good paying jobs. V.C. Bird <coughs> felt and proved that these were the fundamental requirements for development of his people. Education improved earning potential, and a good income ensured that good housing, good health care, and enjoyable material base could be assessed. V.C. Bird also understood that social stability required upward mobility, opportunities he wanted to create for all. He therefore focused on creating mobility opportunities for the poor, the less fortunate, School was free, health care free, and he did all in his power to create jobs through attraction of private investment. Madam President, another aspect of V.C. Bird's economic approach was in the area of attraction of private investment. From very early, V.C. Bird knew, as we all know, of the vital importance of private investment and the need to earn hard currency. V.C. Bird was not constrained by a small island home in self-confidence and readiness to negotiate with the world. He knew that Antigua and Barbados was independent and that his government and people ran the show. When others were nervous about the domination of investment or foreign governments and became hysterical of the phobia, V.C. Bird nailed down investment after investment. The local economic movement and our people developed socially and materially. V.C. Bird knew as a people we must embrace the world, we must be self-confident and enterprising. Today, Antiguans and Barbudans are known as a confident people, an open society well prepared for entrance into the 21st century. Our people have become accustomed to high quality of life a visionary and effective leadership that delivers benefits. Our people will accept nothing less. Perhaps with all V.C. Bird's accomplishments, there is none greater than his contribution to the development of self-confident and determined people who expect nothing less than the best. V.C. Bird contributed to the development of a people with big dreams, great aspirations, and a self-confidence to rely on their own intellect, to fashion their own land in a manner we see fit, and which will benefit all Antigans and Barbudans. V.C. Bird was indeed clearly an outstanding economic planner, with the capacity to devise the correct economic policies a couple of decades before they became accepted down. Not only did V.C. Bird devise correct economic policies, but he also ensured the implementation, transforming vision into reality. V.C. Bird was not just a dreamer whose visions evaporated at sunrise. His visions took, took root and bore many flowers in the lives of all of our people. Now life is gone, and V.C. is gone, but surely he will live on in the hearts and minds of all Antiguans and Barbudans and Caribbean people. Madam President, let us hail the man, the national hero, the father of our nation, our beloved Papa Bird. He lives in the lives and accomplishments of our people from one generation to another. May 
his soul rest in peace and may perpetual light shine upon.